Hello oh, once again, my name is Jose Trujillo, I'm a fine art artist and I'm coming to you from my art studio uh, to talk a little bit about one of my favorite artists, um, Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. And uh, this artist is, uh, was at the forefront of the, uh, the post-impressionist uh, movement, although as uh, you know, many of you know, he uh, uh, wasn't very successful as an artist, as a, as a as a salesperson, but he was a very successful artist in the in the in the real uh, sense of the word. And uh, I wanted to show you this uh, a print of this painting, Cafe at uh, Terrace or Terrace. Um, I believe this was created in 1888. Again, uh, as as uh, all of my my uh, short videos, this is not an academic uh, lecture. I'm not uh, planning on giving you more information about the painting and, and what what does this mean and what does this mean and you know you you can you can Google that and, and find out <laughs> what the name of the street was and all of that. This is not my intention. My intention is to to show you something that you can't really find out there from an artist's point of view, uh, artist to artist. You know, uh, seeing what what perhaps the artist was 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 seeing. And, and I think that's a that's a different twist. I don't think you can really go and and um, find information, or at least much information. I haven't about about that from an artist's point of view. Um, this is again. This is. I mean, this is quintessential Van Gogh. No, this is. Uh, it's too much. <laughs> when I see this, I I can't help but but to really. Uh, being in awe of how how much was uh, going through Van Gogh emotionally, you know. Everything is is dark to a certain point, but then there's this intense light here at the cafe, you know, intense light. And not only is the light intense, but in true Van Gogh fashion, it's full of uh, impasto. You know, impasto is just the uh, thick layers of paint, right? Created, a lot of them created with, uh, with uh, the brush. But also he, I, I'm sure just by looking at the paintings that many times he, he didn't even go, you know, go to the brush. He just probably went to the, straight to the tube of paint or, or, or the back of the brush, whatever he could get and just, you know, really cake it in there, you know, very, very uh, thick layers of paint. I remember the first time seeing his paintings uh, uh, in a museum. I, I, I was blown away. I've never seen anything like it. Usually, all artists uh, are very, uh, they're very uh, uh, pragmatic, I guess. Not to say that Van Gogh wasn't wasn't uh, very intelligent in, in his compositions and the way he did things, but he used a different type of intelligence, and I think he was more into the. He went deeper, like I like I like to mention with him. In this case, and he he likes to put his emotions in there, you know. It, I, it when I see the, the 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 stars right here in the background, um, I, it's I believe that that he was one of the very few artists who was very in touch with his emotions, very very in touch. Not just his emotions, but but he was in touch with because he was looking for a way to rest his mind i think because you know as many of you know he suffered from that he uh he uh like most people nowadays have a tendency to overthink stuff and he did that he got himself in trouble for for, for doing that just like you know about every human being you know um but he he got in, himself into into deeper trouble you know mentally and uh but I can see the stars right here. This is this is this is full on attention. Like he's so, he's looking at him with such intense, you know. He's observing them. He's not looking at them. That I don't know if you ever have you ever had that experience where you're looking at something and it's it starts blurring out because now you're perceiving it differently. It's so intense when you're looking at something that it starts almost shaking and, and blurring. And this is this is what I see from from Van Gogh. He was a true uh, observer, you know, if that's, if that's a word, an observer. Yeah, I guess that's a word. He knew how to observe things. He knew how to, he knew how to look 
into them, you know, not just not just outside, not just aesthetically, but he knew how to look into them. And in true um, Van Gogh <laughs> fashion, I mean, this guy, of course, had to paint the scene from an outsider's point of view. You know, he's not in the cafe. He's not participating in any of this, you know. He's, he's, he's elsewhere. And uh, if, if you know uh, his, his, a little bit of his uh, story, he was like that. You know, that was, that was his thing. You know, his, his brother was a, he was a gallerist and he, he tried to get him involved with, uh, with the other impressionists. You know, the, the guys were, were becoming a, a bit more successful. They were making a name for themselves. And um, Van Gogh just, just couldn't, couldn't handle it. You know, he wasn't, uh, he, he wasn't social. He was just a, a cat who kept to himself for the most part. Um, I really like the, 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 how he jumps the light, you know, from this intensity and, 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 and right here to kind of create a scale, a heavy weight of light and, you know, and then, and then, you know, uh, what they call visual weight, you know, very, very heavy right here and then very light right here. But then you have really, uh, heavy volume right here of, of space of, of, of something dark and then you have the the, the the pillar right here you know just just kind of balancing things out you know i believe he's looking for that he's looking for some sort of balance and you can you can experience that in his paintings many of his paintings and not all of his paintings he's always trying to find that balance he's trying to he's trying to center himself and i he, i think he does that through painting you know um well that's that I love this painting. I, I love the fact that he uh, he was able to to get away with it the way he did. You know, I think good artists can get away with stuff, and, and he did with this painting really well. And uh, that's that. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. 